welcome to the Sonora Desert, or at least the North Carolina Zoo's version of it. This 14,000 square foot indoor habitat represents the ecosystems and animals of America's desert southwest. One of the signature animals found here in the Sonora Desert is the Gila Monster, North America's largest and only poisonous lizard. Few North American animals have been the source of more myths and misconceptions than these slow but brightly colored reptiles. Hill monsters occupy mainly the Sonora Desert region, stretching through Arizona and down into northwest Mexico. The habitat's kind of a lowland scrub, arid, really dry, rocky area with a lot of uh, rocky ledges for them to hang out on. They can reach upwards of close to 40 years in captivity. A good-sized individual get up to uh, 20 inches and uh, a little over two pounds. In the wild, their diet consists of a lot of juvenile rodents, like jackrabbits, and they eat a lot of bird eggs. They're one of only two venomous lizards known to the world. There's a lot of folklore surrounding Gila monsters. There's one myth that their breath alone could kill you. One popular one that I really like is if you get bit by one, it won't let go until the sun goes down or until a thunderstorm approaches and they hear the thunder. They are uh, fairly threatened. Most of it is urbanization and urban sprawl, habitat destruction, and uh, there's been a lot of illegal collection for the pet trade. We have some juveniles that just hatched back in November that we hope to have on exhibit in the coming month or so. Most of our visitors come in really like the Gila monsters. They see that they're a big lizard and they see that they're venomous and they find that very interesting because most people think about only snakes being venomous. Like so many denizens of the harsh desert climate, Gila monsters are supremely adapted to live in a climate where most animals could never survive. If you'd like to learn more about Gila monsters or any of the other animals here at the zoo, please check out our website at nczoo.org. Reporting for the Zoo Files, I'm Rod Hackney, connecting your life to wildlife.